Hello everybody, welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlemagne's Adventure and Seven Days to Die. So what's happening today? Well today we are continuing on with our project here. Yes, I'm going to throw more forged steel into this bad boy. Might as well. Uh, how are these things? These things are all okay. Ooh, some more zombies. So I had a group of zombies come through. And so that's why we see some zombie remains. We should chop these up because we do get materials from them. Very useful. Okay. So I'm just going to double check the area here. Because I had a horde come through. And so I just need to do some clean up here. There is a few things to repair like this. Oops. I don't want that. Oh well. Well we do want to add those in. I think the plan is to go into town to get some scrap iron and some other parts because then we can use that to build other things. So I think that's kind of like part of the plan. So there was a horde that ripped through here, kind of wrecked my spikes a bit. But at least we're getting some loot, which is kind of nice. So today, basically, you grab your drinks and your tasty treats. And I think the plan for today is just to to go harvesting because we need to, to dump more materials into this base. So I need wood. I'm going to need some more spikes probably. So like these kind of spikes because I want to put two layers around the base. So that way we have them kind of like this. Bam, bam. Right. And then fill this up here like so. And then make sure that there's spikes here as well see just like this all around and then we want to repair these right because these are very important oh there's a zombie here ah that's one duke mmm oh and I want to build the bike today too oh no I used up some iron bad 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 that sucks so that's the other thing I wanted to build today was the bike so what do we need for the bike we need some iron do we have the wrench? We do. So let's dump all the stuff. I'm going to dump all the stuff, and I'm going to meet you in the town, I guess. Here we are. We are back at this place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to proceed to take apart all manner of things from stoves to these things to anything that would produce the scrap metal because we need about 200 for the motorcycle that I'm aware of. And we might need some more. See if there's any zombies around here. I don't think there are. So basically what I do is I start on the outside and I start taking apart these things. Let's just take a quick peek. Okay, I think that's a zombie down there maybe. So that's okay. So yeah, so this is all I do. I just take apart this stuff and yeah, so I'll meet you on the other side of all this. Oh boy, oh boy, where is it, where is it? Okay, can we see it? We kind of can. How far away is it? Oh, it's right in town here. Nice. So we definitely are going to go after that one. Boy, so this is what I have on me right now. Ooh, got a couple engines and batteries and stuff. I've been dismantling cars. So we need to drop off some... Oh, man. I don't know if we can drop anything off because this is the other part of my loot. Ooh, I'm going to hit R on it. See what we can grab. I'm going to kind of switch out... One of these items gonna actually take the battery instead of let's see what do not we need. I think the cloth we can leave behind. We'll come back. The mechanical parts we do want. We can leave the coal here. What else can we not take? Okay, so how are, are we gonna do this? There's the airdrop. So I guess I need to run to the other RV park here dump everything in there like the meat and stuff or just like enough items and then we can kind of check that location out so yeah so I'll be back as soon as I get to the airdrop I dropped off everything or well not everything but a lot of stuff so let's go and check this out is it in the middle of this no it's right here hello zombie I think we can you grab it right underneath them. Okay, perfect. So that was a close one. I'm quite impressed with that. Hello, zombie. Hi. Hi. Oh, man. Come on. I say hit him. 
Come on. Bang. Okay. And maybe one more. Come on. Ugh. What happened there? Oh well. We'll club him. Woo! That was close. Very close. There we go. Just bread. So what did we collect? Looks like SMG stock, rocket launcher barrel. So nothing really useful. Maybe some more antibiotics. Maybe first aid kit. I don't know. Okay. Cool. So, hello zombie. Hi. Bam. Oh, oh, shiza. There's a few more of you. Looks like this is like a little horde. Bam, oh bam, oh bam. Okay, that's okay. Bring it on, mofos. Ah. Those guys have that sway. See, they have a bigger sway now. Bam. Bam. Woo! Hello. Gotcha. Bam. Bam. Woo. Nice. Nice. Woo! There we go. And that one. They all should be toast now. Perfect. Let's pick up some loot. That was really, really good. Awesome. Boy, that was tough. I also have a bunch of family stuff happening up here, so I apologize for any loud noises or bangs or anything like that. Okay, so now we can go back in here. We want the engines. We want the meat, the gas, the battery. We want the plastic. Oh, man. We want these. What else do we want? Short iron pipes. Ah, uh, we can pick those up later. So this stuff we can pick up a little bit. The springs I think we'll grab over the sandwiches. And I think that's it. Okay, cool. So I'm going to make my way back to the base so we can drop off everything. And yeah, I'll meet you back over there. Okay, perfect. We made it back home here. So all I'm doing is I'm basically dropping off all my stuff. Oops, not the bottle of water. But I'm dropping off all our stuff basically kind of that we don't need. So like the shopping basket, the headlight, and even the bottles of water here. We don't really need those. Let's check our food levels here quickly. We need more food. We're okay with the water, so it's okay. We'll eat this. We got lots of bacon and eggs still, which is pretty, pretty cool. But we're going to be running out soon, I think, because, well, so I got a couple good engines out of that haul, got a, a battery and everything, so I'm going to go out here and I'm going to collect some resources, and then when it's nighttime, we're going to go and you make the bike. So yeah, so I'm going to go collect some stuff and I'll meet you at the nighttime. Well, here we are. We are back at home, safe and sound. Let's see here. Let us come in here with the safety of our place. Okay, so let's dump these spikes in here. There's bones in here. Also, this. So I'm going to do a bunch of inventory magic, and I'll be right back when I'm ready to, to work on the bike. Perfect. I'll be as ready as ever. So let's see. So what should we start with the mini bike? Well... Let's type in mini bike. So we need the mini bike chassis, which is 200 iron and 20 clay, which is made out of the workbench. So let's do our typical trick here. Let's fill this up so that way we get the experience. So I think that's the trick. So if I type in mini, there's mini bike chassis. So what's this? Unless that means the forge. So like this. If we go mini, ah yes, it's in the forge, never mind. So this is the workbench, so we're going to make that, so that will hop out, let's cancel that stuff. Okay, so now we're, we're creating the chassis, we need to make the handlebars, so we need some duct tape, electrical parts, so let's see here, duct tape and electrical parts. So we'll have duct tape, let's see, electrical parts we'll have there. Do we not have any duct tape? Or do we have to make some? Might need some cloth. 
So let's see here. Okay, so here we have some duct tape. I will make some more cloth as well, so we can have some more of this stuff. I can make three of those, okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's, God, I don't want to cancel that. Okay, so now the handlebars. So how do we make the handlebars? Let's see. The mini bike handlebars. So I need still one headlight. I should have grabbed that out of this thing here. One headlight. Now this thing should work. Where is the headlight? Head, oh, headlight. <laughs> oh boy, folks. Oh boy. So I need more duct tape. More duct tape. No. Oh, two short iron pipes. I didn't look far enough down the list. That's hilarious. Okay, so now I think we can make it. I should actually put on put on one of these things. Where is it? Where is This is what I want to wear. We're going to wear this bad boy. So that way we can turn woo bright lights. That's okay. So now what we're going to do Now we can type in the mini and mini bike handlebars, bam. We're going to craft this. That takes 10 seconds. The seat. Oh, man, we need more duct tape. Really? Really? Oh, so we're not going to be able to make the, the mini bike this episode. I was hoping we would, but do we have any more duct tape? No, I don't think we do. Unless we make some glue. How do we make glue? Let's see here. Glue. We need large bone and bottled murky water. Wow. That's a really different way of, of doing things. So we got the chassis now. Is there anything else to melt in here? Back with the brass, I guess. And then let's make some forged iron. How much should we make of this stuff? Can I make the steel? I don't think so yet. I don't have that skill yet. Uh, let's do, I got 16. Let's do 14. So that gives me 30. So 24. Let's do 24 of these bad boys. 24. Perfect. Okay. That will come out. Yeah, shoot. The light is just super, super bright. I don't know how we can counteract that. So, okay. So now, now I have more duct tape. I think I was being a little bit impatient. So, if you go mini, a mini bike seat. So I just need now three cotton. And I think we have everything. So let's see, cotton, right there. Let's do this. Oh boy, this is exciting. Mini bike seat, go craft. Where are we going to put this damn thing? I'm going to have to do it outside. It's nighttime right now. Well, I'll tell you what, folks. I think we'll do this. We'll, we'll assemble this thing you know, the next day. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye-bye.